Carol here again. Today we're going to make tenderloins. I'm going to show you how I make my cracker meal and then we'll, okay, get, we'll get these crackers crushed real fine and get our seasonings in there and for our breaded tenderloins. like our grilled tenderloins, but every now and again we just want to bread a tenderloin. Okay. That's just about to get there. Okay, we'll get our seasonings in our cracker mill. And I usually just eyeball it. Put a little seasoned salt and some pepper and a little garlic. Now, if you like other seasonings, you can put them in there or put it in, you know, to your taste. Okay, I've got one egg. Here, and I'm going to pour some milk. And we'll beat that up. For our egg wash. Okay. Okay, we'll dredge this in flour. Again in the flour. Let your breading nice and thick. seen me only do it once for the first one that's because my husband doesn't like a lot of breading so I usually will make him a special one
this is really easy. And I like those easy methods. Okay. We've got this all ready now and what we have to do is put it in the freezer and let it freeze overnight because the breading will stay on it when you uh, fry it. And I don't deep fry mine. You can and it'll be good. But I just use a little extra oil in the skillet and it always comes out a nice golden brown and not greasy. We were interrupted by the mail carrier and I wanted to tell you that I will usually start with a whole pork loin and cut it in three-eighths and run it through the tenderizer. And I want to show you what the mail carrier brought us. Our non-GMO oats that we're happy to have because we don't like to uh, have anything with GMO in it. Thank you.